Hey guys, welcome back to Comparing AI, where we explore AI together. I'm Alex, and in this video, we're gonna be combining two AI tools to help you write blog posts faster that rank on Google. The first tool is Surfer SEO. If you don't know what that is, I will explain it quickly in this video. And the second one you're familiar with, ChatGPT. We're gonna be combining both of these tools using some prompts that I have to make your content faster and make it rank higher in Google. Surfer SEO is very helpful but it's kind of slow and tedious. So we're gonna be combining ChatGPT to write content faster. Let's jump in my computer and start going through this. So first of all, what is Surfer SEO? This is a really powerful SEO tool to help you write SEO optimized content. And as you see on the right side here, it gives you kind of a content score from zero to 100. Let me open it here. So this is an article I wrote recently. Surfer will give you a score from zero to 100. And what you wanna look at is these keywords and phrases here. These are all the words you want to incorporate in your post. What Surfer does is it analyzes all of the top pages that are ranking for your keyword. In this case, it's free AI writing assistance. It looks at all the posts ranking for this term. It takes all of the phrases that they mention, and it kind of gives you all these words that Google wants to see in your article. The more of these words that you incorporate, Google will crawl your website and it will see, oh, this must be a really good piece of content because it's talking about all of these posts and it helps you rank higher. And this works. Surfer SEO is fantastic just as a standalone SEO tool, but it can take a while to incorporate all of these words, all of these headings into your post. So we can actually start using ChatGPT to automate some of this process. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So whether you want to create blog posts from scratch or optimize your existing content, we're going to use some prompts and have ChatGPT insert all of these keywords into our article so we can start making it rank faster. Hopefully that makes sense. Now let's actually just jump into the prompts and write the article. So the keyword that we're gonna be using as an example, best pickleball paddles for intermediate players. I don't play pickleball, but this is a good keyword. You can use this if you want and steal this, but look, it has pretty low competition and it is growing in search volume. Side note, pickleball is a fast growing niche. But anyways, this is the keyword we're gonna be using. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go sign up for Surfer SEO if you don't already have an account. I will put my link in the description. Once you've signed up, you wanna click on content editor Assuming you're gonna create a post from scratch, you're gonna click on content editor and you're gonna paste your keyword in. We're gonna do best pickleball paddles for intermediate players. And you're gonna select the country. I'm gonna do the United States. And you're gonna click create content editor and it's gonna take a few seconds to do all the research, collect all the keywords. And what Surfer is doing is it searching up this keyword. It's looking at all the posts that are ranking on this page. It's probably analyzing Forbes, the Volley Llama, all of these top ranking posts and it's analyzing them and it's gonna help us make a good piece of content. While we're waiting for that, if you want to get a free list of awesome AI tools, you can go to comparing.ai and just enter your email address here and then I will send you this database of awesome AI tools that you can start using today. So let's jump back to Surfer and it looks like this is done. So we're gonna open this up and now we are inside the content editor. So let me just post the title here, turn that into an H1 and I don't know anything about pickleball so this is obviously just an example. We can see, so our content score is starting off at 20 and we scroll down here, this is what we need. And we're gonna take this into ChatGPT and use it to write our article. So let's see, we have intermediate players, handle length, wants us to talk about power shots, extra spin, single paddle, paddle face, grip length, wrist strap, swing speed, wood paddles, carbon fiber, and you get the idea. So now let's actually just copy this I'm going to open up Notion here. So these are the prompts we're going to be testing out today. So I'm just going to paste these keywords here for now. And we will organize this using ChatGPT. But here is my first prompt. And I'm going to paste my first prompt into ChatGPT. So I have a blog that educates people about pickleball. I don't sell pickleball products, but I make reviews about paddles, shoes, and gear. Share the best ones with my audience. And I want to write a blog post titled, Five Best Pickleball Paddles for Intermediate Players. Do you understand? So obviously I don't have a blog about this. I'm just using this as an example, but we are just setting up ChatGPT, prompting it, feeding it information to get ready to write this blog post. So while we're waiting for that, I'm going to set up my second prompt which is all of the keywords that we received. Let me just copy this real quick. Copy that. And here we go. Yes, I understand you want to write a blog post about the best paddles and make recommendations. Perfect. So let's enter our second prompt here. I have a list of NLP keywords and phrases that I want to try and include. Tell me you understand and then organize them into a markdown table. So let's see what it gives us. Sure, here's the markdown table and it's kind of gonna fill this out. I might fast forward this video if it's taking a while, just so you know. And then here's the third prompt that I'm going to test out. So I found some brands that seem to be popular in the pickleball space. So Franklin Onyx Head, 
etc. Now, if I was doing this for real, I would actually research each paddle and each brand but for simplicity, I'm just gonna have ChatGPT make stuff up about it. But obviously, if you were doing this for real, I would incorporate details about each specific paddle, their price points, the pros and cons, what makes them different, etc. So I'm just gonna fast forward this part. And here we are. So I'm just gonna copy this prompt again. I changed it a little bit. And now we're gonna see if we can write the article. So this is the important part. So we're gonna take the word column, that's the one right here, and incorporate as many words as you can into the blog post that is titled Five Best Pickleball Paddles for Intermediate Players. Do your best to still make it sound natural. It will be a listicle post with five brands. The brands to mention are Franklin, Onyx, Head, Selkirk, Prolite. Lastly, incorporate the details I provided in your writing. And here are the details. I'm gonna be testing this out. I haven't tried this prompt before but I want the introduction under 75 words. I want H2 headings, what makes a good paddle, uh, and so on. So let's enter this prompt. Hopefully we get something good here. Pickleball is a fast growing sport that combines elements of tennis, badminton, and table tennis. As you move from a beginner to an intermediate player, it's essential to have the right equipment. One of the most important pieces is the paddle. The right paddle can help you improve your game, increase power, and reduce fatigue. This post will look at the five best pickleball paddles for intermediate players. This is really good if you ask me. Maybe a little bit of editing. I might add a couple line breaks, but wow. What makes a good paddle? There are several factors to consider, such as weight, balance, grip, and surface. With these in mind, let's look at the five best pickleball paddles for intermediate players. Now, obviously, all of this listicle stuff, I gave it no info, so it's probably just spitting this out of its butt. But, uh, but Franklin Sports is a well-known brand in the world of pickleball and their paddles are some of the best in the market. So again, I would not use this. I would have to insert custom information and I would put that like in the details or I would add a second section with info about each paddle that I want to write about. But let's paste this into Surfer and see what our content score goes up to. So right now we're at a 20, Command V, all the way up to the 38. Let's see if this prompt helps finish it. So let's see what words it incorporated into the post. We see it added table tennis, extra spin, honeycomb core, textured surface, intermediate players. So I hope you can see the power of this. In literally just a few minutes without any research, we have created a pretty good first draft for a blog post. Now we don't have a hundred content score yet, but in just a couple minutes, we already have a 38. Now we can manually go through this, keep improving it. And we have such a good head start on this article. Now, obviously I don't recommend publishing articles just like this. Make sure to do your research, research each paddle in this case, and make this a really good use post but this can save you a lot of time now I'm playing around with some other prompts to see if we can increase this content score so here are the original prompts I used in the beginning of this video and I got a pretty good post out of it and here is the one I'm testing right now so I took the original post that it gave us I pasted it in here and I put this prompt I take as many keywords as you can from the passage NLP keywords and add it to blog post feel free to add more headings and paragraphs to get as many NLP keywords in the article as you can and blog post is this one, and then NLP keywords is in the bottom, which is here. And we're gonna put this into Surfer, see what it says, see if we can get a better content score. So let me just copy this. Okay, so I just took everything from that last prompt and I put it in, and now we're at a content score of 46. So again, I took the original article that it gave me, and I used another prompt that just said, add more NLP keywords to this blog post. If we scroll down here, it put this out. I had to format it a little bit in Surfer. I had to, you know, just make those H2s. I told it to keep going and then it missed a section. So I just told it to add that. Now we're at a 46 content score with a little bit of playing around, but now we have a first draft of an article that probably saved a ton of time. And this is how many keywords we have right now. Now we did this for a brand new article, which I think saved a lot of time, but I found this works even better for articles that you've already published and you want to optimize. So if you've already written something and you want ChatGPT to just incorporate more of these keywords, I find that's when it works best. But hey, hopefully this was useful for you. If you want to sign up for Surfer, I'll put a link below where I think you can get a free trial. Make sure you check out my channel for the latest and greatest AI tools. And go to Comparing AI if you want to get a spreadsheet with the hottest AI tools that you can start using today. I'll see you in the next one.